Okay, we are here today with Dr. Jan Bjork, who's a gastroenterologist with Aurora Advanced Healthcare, and we just finished an interview on the morning blend. So Dr. Jan Bjork is just going to talk about quick what he talked about on the interview and do a brief synopsis. Um, his topic was healthy bowel movement and trying to avoid constipation. Good morning. I had a very nice conversation this morning with Molly and Tiffany talking about normal bowel habits and uh, constipation. We uh, showed a diagram and explained how we digest our food. I explained the function of the colon, how it absorbs water and excretes waste products. She asked me questions about what is normal bowel function in adults. I did explain normal bowel function. I emphasized the fact that as the people age, their bowels become lazy. We have many diseases that affect our bowels, like diabetes, constipation, heart disease, numerous medications that your physician gives you may cause constipation and may affect your bowels. These are especially the antidepressants, medicines for blood pressure, neurological diseases, medicines for heart disease, and things like that. She asked about the high fiber diet, which we recommend 20 to 35 grams of fiber every day. There are types of fiber, the soluble and the insoluble types of fiber. There are products on the market like Benefiber and uh, Metamucil, which we tend to use. We do use laxatives, especially the bulk laxatives, which would be like Metamucil. We use Miralax, which is a hyperosmotic type of laxative. We don't like to use the stimulant laxatives. And the stool softeners are sort of sometimes effective, sometimes not effective. Uh, we were not able to discuss the probiotics, but the probiotics do help your colon. They uh, provide uh, benefit to your immune system. They help intestinal function. Research is being done on diseases like ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, antibiotic-associated diarrhea, lactose intolerance. There seems to be some benefit with the probiotics. If you're over age 50, you should have a colonoscopy. Sometimes uh, during the evaluation for constipation, if the uh, symptoms are severe, if you have bleeding or weight loss, we may recommend having a colonoscopy. In general, you need to increase your fiber, you need to exercise, drink plenty of liquids, especially water. Sometimes patients will keep a diary so we can try to correlate what's going on. You should also seek medical care from your physician to make sure you don't have other diseases and that some of the medications you take are not influencing your bowels.